Uh, how you doing fellow air gunners? Uh, today I'll be showing you how to build a homemade pellet trap for about under 20 bucks. You find everything at your local Home Depot. You might even uh, have some of this stuff laying around the house. So uh, I'll start with the Home Depot stuff. Uh, waterproof electrical box. Uh, I don't know how much I paid for, about five bucks, six, seven bucks. Uh, you got this stuff here, which is real important. Uh, the duck seal putty. They're about three dollars a bar. You're gonna need about four bars. Uh, some steel electrical plate covers. Uh, and that's pretty much it from Home Depot that you you actually need to buy. Uh, here is an old pair of jeans that I got folded up. Uh, and a piece of cardboard. So, uh, I've had this pellet trap for about two years now. You can see little dings on me. It takes a licking. I have a shoot with a 22 cal and a 177 cal. Um, once my, my strongest rifle has it's got about 1,000 FPS and ran over the chronograph. So, uh, it takes a licking. And nothing has ever penetrated through this pellet trap. Um, and when you go to refresh your trap after two years, all you're going to be buying is uh, four bars of duck, duck seal putty. Um, it's about 12 bucks. So um, I placed the uh, steel electrical box covers in at the bottom. Uh, then we go with the old pair of jeans. Stuff those in there. Okay. That's in there. Uh, you get your piece of cardboard that you cut to about the inside diameter of the box. You stuff that down in there. That's just to give you a, a, a sturdy, uh, flat surface to uh, put the putty on. Okay. And then you just simply, uh, you simply take your putty, pack it in there nice and neat. You're going to go up. Uh, I'm going to finish this out. And I'll uh, come back and let you see the finished product. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this is the finished product. See uh, all the duck seal in there. One, two, three, four bars. Uh, and then to mount your target or paper that you're going to be shooting at, just take a piece of cardboard, uh, make it a little bit longer than, the, than your box. Uh, and there's mounting holes on the box. This is where the waterproof cover goes uh, if you're using it for electrical uh, application. You just put it on there, line up the screw holes, um, put two screws in here. This part you won't have to do so much because uh, basically what you can do is just keep putting a fresh piece of cardboard on top of this one um, and it'll stay Stay rigid. Put your other screw here up top. Screw it down. Screw it down. All right, and then you can take your target. Um, you can use thumbtacks. I some I use thumbtacks, whatever I got, or uh, sometimes I'll go and I'll put a clip on it. You just easily take the clip on and off when you when you when you want to change targets. So uh, there you have it: uh, indoor, outdoor pellet and BB trap. That's that's one thing that's good about this: the putty will will catch pretty much everything, uh, unless you just have a little pea shooter where it actually doesn't get stuck in the putty. 
but it will trap BBs, so uh, you don't have to worry about ricochet or anything like that. 